So we're going to talk about a story right now uh, that just kind of broke late tonight and is very touching. It deals with the Nintendo Switch and Satoru Iwata. And you guys have already seen the title of this. Uh, essentially, it appears that Nintendo um, intentionally has uh, what appears to be a piece of Satoru Iwata embedded on every single Nintendo Switch uh, in order to watch over the Switch. Uh, kind of showing the importance Mr. Iwata had at Nintendo and to the people who were working on Switch at the time. But let's let's get into the, the specifics. So uh, we haven't talked about it on this channel, but uh, hackers have gotten into the Nintendo Switch for a while. Um, and it, there was a modder named Switchbrew uh, who discovered that the game Golf was uh, in is on every single switch unit uh it they they did a, a dump of title names uh from the file system back in july and that's where golf was discovered and obviously uh we also know that the nes emulator flog is on there uh, you know ironically or not golf backwards uh and not a whole lot was known you know if it was playable or not uh since then uh we've learned it is playable uh, it's play joy cons. It seems to have joy con specific controls. We have an image of it here, but what's interesting here is what the, why this is on the system, right? Some people thought maybe it's just a, a test game. They're working on it to, or, to get it ready for potential virtual console in the future, or maybe as, a, as one of their first games that they'll give away with their online system. And, and, and this, again, a lot of it just felt like it was just a test, right? Every switch unit has it, but it, it was just a test and it was leftover code and it just stayed in the OS. Well, it, it apparently might not have been just this leftover code that stayed in the OS. It appears that golf and the emulator running it flog was intentionally put on every single switch unit. So here's here's the deal. We know that the game itself can be ran on Switch, and until tonight we didn't know how. So in order to run golf on your Switch, you have to be using Switch version 1.0.0, and you can't have ever connected your Switch online. So basically you need a launch unit that's never been connected online. And I say that because you need to set your calendar to July 11th. Okay, the reason that uh, July 11th is such a specific date is that is the day that Satura Iwata passed away. And once you uh, are have your clock and your date set to July 11th, uh, you take off each of the Joy-Cons, you hold them up, and you guys remember that direct to you motion that uh, Satura Iwata did in every single Nintendo Direct? Hello, this is Satoru Iwata from Nintendo. It looks like I'll be delivering the first Nintendo Direct of 2014 directly to you. Direct. Well, with each Joy-Con uh, in each one of your hands, you do that direct to you motion, and it will launch the game. And there's video evidence of it. If I can, if I can find a very good video showing this off, um, I will throw it up in here and give full credits down in the description. And all of this information I got from Spawn Wave, who did a video on this. I'll have a link to his video down in the description as well. Uh, so you have to do a direct. You know, Iowa is direct to you motion from Nintendo Directs. It can only be launched on July 11th, and it can only be done on systems that uh, have not connected to the internet. Because once you connect to the internet, you can't really mess with the calendar that much. So you'll have to wait until next year on July 11th to try this for yourself if you've connected your Switch to the internet and if you've updated it, etc. Or if you bought a new Switch unit and it doesn't happen to have have the the version 1.0.0. Now, it's still, the game is still there. It's still there on newer versions. It, it has not been patched out of the OS. Um, you just can't do anything until July 11th. Now, that that's like a huge nod to Iwata as it is. But Game Explain found out some additional information. So Justin Esperin, and I'll have a link down to Game Explain's video as well that goes over this um, in almost the same deal I'm going to give to you now. But Justin, Justin Esperin is a senior associate producer at 8.4, which is a translation studio that worked on Fire Emblem Echoes. And he tweeted out that people in Japan are calling the golf embedded on Switch Omamori. And then Omamori is a charm. So um, 
And what the idea here is that it's a charm from Satoru Iwata who coded the game himself. So Satoru Iwata coded golf. And back in the early days of Nintendo, Satoru Iwata coded a lot of the early NES games. And golf was one of those games that he was the person who did all the code work on it. Um, in Japanese culture, an omomori are botted shrines that for various reasons that if you keep them close to you are supposed to protect you or give you luck. So the idea here is that this game is, uh, this, this game that, that Iwata created, that Iwata coded, Iwata coded golf is an omomori, uh, and as such was embedded in every single switch unit to watch over them. Think about that. So you can only launch the game on July 11th, the day of his death, or the anniversary of his death right now. You can only uh, launch it doing the exact motions he is known for in Nintendo Directs. And uh, in Japan, it's being considered... Uh, the, the inference here is that Justin Esperin heard this from people at Nintendo in Japan. Um, that this game is only even on the system uh, to have a piece of Iwata watching over it. That is, think about that. Uh, a lot of you guys weren't at this channel back when Satoru Iwata passed away. Uh, I did a, a video on uh, the importance of Iwata to my life um, and, and a little remembrance of him. And I'll put a clip of it up in here if I uh, can dig that up. But he was a huge part of my childhood from Balloon Trip. I played lots of Balloon Trip. I always fight for those high scores. The, the Super Smash Bros. series, the first one at Melee. He was a programmer on those games. To Kirby and all my wonderful members of games like Kirby's Dreamland. <laughs> Sorry. It's. Man, I mean, even just now talking about this, I'm tearing up a little bit that uh, this just goes to show you how important Satoru Iwata was to the people at Nintendo, as important as he was to me and as important as he was to gamers across the world and developers across the world. This is, man, I, I think at times we forget that Nintendo Switch was Satoru Iwata's baby. This was his idea. It was his brainchild. Uh, he never got to see it come to fruition and come out, but this was in development um, as something he was pursuing. And, you know, for, for all of the flack that Uwada has, has deserved over his run as CEO, uh, he didn't always make the best business decisions. Uh, there were game droughts. He, he wasn't perfect. Um, he saw Nintendo through the height of success that it's never seen before in the Wii and DS and also saw it through uh, basically blowing that success uh, and tanking the company during the Wii U era. But there can be no doubt about Satoru Iwata, the human being, and his impact and the way he affected people at Nintendo that they would even want to put this game on the system as a little piece of him a small piece of Satoru Iwata for every Switch owner to watch over their Switches to take care of them to take maybe it even has a deeper meaning to help take care of the people that own it because we know that Nintendo uh, has done things at least back during the Wii era where they were trying to help with people's health uh, and, and think about you know even now there, there's games you buy on Nintendo well hey maybe you should put this game down you've been playing for a while uh, Nintendo worrying about your well-being and having a lot of kind of watch over the switch and watch over all of us it, it's a very it, it it hits me right in the heart like it, it it's tugging on my my heartstrings right now to, to think that Nintendo thought so much of him that they did this with every single Switch unit, regardless of your OS update. Uh, and it's potential that in the future they, they might even advertise uh, next year on July 11th um, that you can do this only on that day. Everyone can play it. Maybe they'll have the bugs worked out because it's a little buggy uh, from the people who have been able to play it. But it's, man, Nintendo, why you got to make me? Why, why you got to make me feel uh, sadness and happiness at the same time? Because as sad as it is that Satoru Iwata's gone, now I know every time I turn on my Switch, um, I'm going to be reminded that there's a piece of him in there, a, a piece of his hard work 
and dedication to the company um, that really made my childhood and made most of my adult life. Uh, man, kudos to you, Nintendo. And uh, I know it's been a couple years, but again, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry for your loss, Nintendo. Uh, but I'm glad that he's still inspiring you guys to this day. Anyways, folks, I'm Nathaniel Ruffle Jantz from Nintendo Prime. If you like this video, you know what to do. And if you dislike the video, hit that dislike button. If you haven't subscribed already, subscribe so you don't miss any of our videos. And heck, when you do, there's a little bell icon you can hit and make sure you see all our videos. Because uh, I know some of our subscribers don't get to see every video we make. Uh, yeah, I, man, I'll just catch you guys in the next one.